It just needs to happen, and the benefit of this is you have some players, if need be, can drop down to the defensive position to get yourself set up. An early faceoff, an early whistle, and 10 seconds in, we'll move the face. A percentage of 89.1. Manning the net for Elmira is number 29, Daniel McCarthy. McCarthy comes in with a personal record of three wins and three losses, a goals against average of 3.60, a save percentage of 89.9 as this will be controlled by the Eagles in their own end, not out. A shot from the point off the stick of Franklin Berry gets the play. Here comes Dylan Weber the other way. Weber drops off for Kevin Remsen. Remsen a snapshot, saved. Into the corner now, it's Remsen with the puck again. Remsen tries forcing it along for Weber. Also involved is Brandon Cope. Cope drops down low, Remsen. Remsen swings one through the crease. Weber got a stick on him, but not enough. Now Weber again, forced off the puck, and so it'll be Liam Murphy. Up to the near side for Liebold. Liebold from the red line will send one in on goal. O'Brien will make a glove save and leave it along for Cole Madsey. Couple good chances so far for Danbury in the attacking zone. Good rebound opportunities from McCarthy. They just haven't jumped on him. Back in front, saved by O'Brien. The rebound ends up on the side of the cage. O'Brien sees this go off his stick a couple times, not out of the zone. Murphy a shot, saved by O'Brien. Well, Jack, as you were mentioning, it's just as soon as Danbury gets some offensive pressure, Elmira with their best opportunity early on in this game. Absolutely, and it's because Shane O'Brien was able to keep his right pad and stick down on the ice that so that rebound doesn't go in on the back 12 home games over their next 14 games in total. So they have a lot of time on this ice to try to end the season on a high note. And Adam Palameke, who I think started off with a very strong season, is probably very eager to get back in the fold of things. Danbury will theoretically play at least one playoff game here as well for the Frazier Cup playoffs. It's the top four teams in every division who qualifies. And in the Northeast Division, they've got four teams. So we'll leave the math to you at home. Over eight minutes now gone by in the first shot from the point held on to by Shane. It'll be Dylan Weber on the draw for Danbury on a 50-50 draw up against Ethan Fuller. Puck comes out and it's collected by the Danbury defense. As far as the red line before, turn, it's turned over. Now Fuller coming back the other way. Fuller knocked off the puck by Lefkoff. Weber, long pass. It's intended for Cope, a little too far for Cope. No icing on the play as Cope sends it behind the net. Getting there first is Remsen. Remsen reverses right back to the near side corner where Brandon Cope will pick it up. Cope thought about a shot, instead goes back to the point. Lefkoff shot goes wide. Remsen forces it behind the net. Getting there first is Fuller. Fuller sends it around to the near side wall. Lefkoff pinching in, sends it right back for Cope. Cope, his backhand pass fanned upon. Still in that Zamboni corner it's worked for. Remsen had his stick lifted, couldn't get a handle on it. And now Connor Lefkoff once again for Danbury. Another nice stick lift by Sam Miller, frees up the puck. Weber in the corner. Lefkoff looking for it, it's in his skates. Sends it right into the glove of Walton, whose shot is blocked. And now Lefkoff up ahead for Cope. Cope all by himself as Danbury's in the middle of a change. A soft shot on goal. McCarthy will hold. You see Alex Fernandez. Well, that's the reason why the goaltenders wear their masks on the bench as this shot from the point is blocked. For John Cosa, it is his 10th goal of the season. And it gives Elmira the 1-0 lead as Skinner gives along for Murphy. Murphy sends this through a dangerous area, but niftily played up ahead. Not a little too far, it's a hand pass over that. Elmira leads one nothing on John Cosa's 10th goal of the season. A flip out of the zone, didn't get much height on it. Fuller gloves it down and sends it back down deep. Barry, unable to clear, Vogelgren tries forcing one towards the slot, that's taken away by Brandon Cope. Here's Cope coming over the neutral zone into the Elmira end. Remsen deflected on goal, and McCarthy had to be sharp. Yeah, kind of a wild shot there, Cope just sticks his stick out, gets a piece of the puck, and it rolled right in front. In front, poking one wide was Dylan Weber. McCarthy tried to block the pass. Instead, he sent it right through the blue paint. Yeah, a couple of really good chances there for Danbury in front. Liebold gets it over the blue line. Lefkoff gives along for Barry, who sends it back down deep. Delayed offsides, and so Elmira with an extra moment 
And elects to send it off the boards all the way down the ice. The race is on, the whistle is blown, and the face off will come. Side of the net, but the rebound chances. Donovan on the doorstep, Lefkoff blasts the shot high. They're there, they just have to get the final product. It'll be nice when they finally find the back of the net. Here is Weber picking up a loose puck at the blue line. He'll chip one along for Barry. Through the legs of Cope, and Darling will send it back down deep. Getting there first is Fogelgren for Elmira. He's canceled out by Madsey. Barry will wrap it around, but pinching in from the point is Darling. Darling falls down the play, but Kosa keeps it alive. His shot gets deflected to where the video opportunities for Elmira going back the other way. Danbury needs to do a little bit more to eliminate that. Left call from the neutral zone will send it back down deep with 75 to go in the period. Liebold on the near side, half wall gives back for Darling. Darling behind his own net. Fogelgren off the boards, kicked aside by Wojciechowski. And now here comes Brandon Cope the other way. Cope looking for an option. Doesn't see one, so he takes a shot into the glove of McCarthy. Everybody come. Can't allow them to get into too many of those or else they'll start to beat you. Here's Murphy sending one through the front of the net. Jeffrey Walton got hit up high, but it goes undetected by the referee. Weber out of the zone. Forked along by Cope. And now we have a whistle. I believe this will open wondering why there was a whistle. Either way, face off back at center ice, won cleanly by Weber. And now Madsey, D to D across for Barry. He finds a Cope who sends it down deep. Behind the cage of McCarthy, it's Kevin Remsen who cuts to the puck first. Remsen, a centering attempt, is picked off by Liam Murphy, and Murphy will flip it out of the zone. In the referee's crease, Franklin Barry is able to get the puck back into the Elmira zone. Just as quickly, the Eagles can clear. In front of us, this is Jeff Walton. Walton lost possession, Fuller in support, sends one through the slot off the stick of Murphy. It's a bouncing puck that goes off the high glass in the corner. Cole Madsey. Didn't like what he saw, so he'll retreat back behind the cage. Minute 45 gone by here in what's been an entertaining second period. No icing on this play, and so back to collect is Sam Miller. Miller's pass intended for Fogelgren. Watched closely by McEnany, and it's turned over. Donovan now with the puck. Donovan, a backhand pass intended for Cope, as this is the first line that we saw at the beginning of the year of McEnany, Cope, and Donovan out on the ice. Odd man rush going the other way is broken up by the defense of Connor Lefkoff, and an errant pass finds its way back out into the neutral zone. O'Brien will settle it for Lefkoff. Myra against Dylan Weber. Weber with another face-off victory. Good to see Dylan Weber back out on the ice for the Danbury Colonials. Had an upper body injury a few weeks ago, and Danbury certainly missed his face-off prowess. Yeah, he's so physical, too. He can get great boards play from him. Got a knack for scoring, too. Really good second line forward, and the only reason he's not on the top line is because he had Colby Donovan. This is Weber behind the net. He gets dumped down into the corner, lost possession of the puck. Elmira unable to clear, at least momentarily. Finally, it's Fuller who takes the puck off of Cope stick and gets it over the blue line. Using his body to defend the puck was Liam Murphy, sends it off the board. Pass was intended for Fuller. Instead, it will be Cole Madsey behind his own net. Looking for an option. Finds one on the far side in the form of Dylan Weber. And Weber will motor ahead through the neutral zone. Upon gaining the red line, he dumps it down deep. Getting to the puck first is Jared Meyer. Meyer then Ooh. somehow, boy, sticks going flying, pucks ending up on goal. Oh, chaos down in the Elmira end. Yeah, McCarthy just got hit by a, his own teammate's stick there. It's usually not the way they draw it up. Here's Barry. Helped along by Wessendorf. Now Keola behind the cage. Leaves it in here. Off the draw. It's Weber going back to McEnany at the point. Converted forward, gives along for Cope. Cope a shot saved by McCarthy. Rebound for Weber, gives along back to Cope. Cope tries giving along for McEnany at the blue line, just kept it alive. Now left off a shot, it was deflected by Donovan off the side of the net. Donovan dumped down from behind, no call coming on that. Donovan back up to his feet, keeps it in the zone. McEnany gives back Colby Donovan. Donovan fans on the shot as he had trouble corralling the pass. Now Cope gives a long left cough. Left cough gives back McEnany a one-time shot saved by McCarthy. 
Now, great jump by McCarthy. He knew where that puck was going. He slid over, got his blocker in front. Now Lefkoff again. Has McEnany to his left, but he turns it over. Now breakaway coming the other way for Javon Fogelgren. Fogelgren in, saved by O'Brien, and Cope will send it down the ice. Now Weber will chase after this. He'll beat out the icing call. McCarthy sends it into the near side corner. Weber still uh, like a puck hawk, trying to get possession of it. It ends up at the blue line. Now Thomas Liebold going the other way. Liebold with three Colonials around him. Lost possession of the puck. Ooh, a hold your breath moment there. What a save by Shane O'Brien. It all starts with the Connor Lefkoff misplay at the blue line. And Fogelgren was this close. He tried to tuck it in in between the five hole. But O'Brien just stayed close enough, closed enough in the butterfly. Pass back intended for McEnany, hops over a skit. So O'Brien at the top of the circle. Tries giving back to McEnany. Jumped over his stick again. Not sure what sort of spell has been put on that, tw on that twig for now. Turned over and now it's Liebold. Liebold dip off the ice. He picks it up off the ice. It's a whole different play. Elmira in their own end. It's Walton racing ahead and collecting the puck at the hash marks. Now Fuller. Knocked off of his stick. Mastroni will come up the other way with Cope. Cope sending it on goal. McCarthy doesn't want to take a chance. He'll hold on. And Danbury. They're, again, getting opportunities in front of McCarthy to connect their deflection again, but they're just unable to find the back. Dan McCarthy has seen 20 shots. He has stopped 20 shots. Looking for shot number 21 is Brandon Cope. At the circle, his shot gloved by McCarthy. And he'll back to the bench of our right. My goodness. Nice move by Kosa as well, but stymied by the iron. So here's Cope seeing this puck go off of his backhand. Fogelgren picks it up at the blue line, manages to keep it on side. Fogelgren tries a backdoor pass for Liebold. That's knocked aside. Liebold will pick up the loose puck in the neutral zone. Puck in his skates as he does battle with Cole Madzi. Now Liebold sends it off of his skates. He was expecting Jared Meyer to play it a bit sooner. Instead it's a turnover and now Cope tries going inside out on uh, William Darling. No sale there. Fogelgren by himself with three Danbury defenders to beat. Gets driven into the corner. Lost possession. Connor Lefkoff up the far side. Sent off the boards. He manages to pick up Cope. Cope tries going through the legs of uh, Sam Miller. Miller's able to get just enough on it to prevent that from happening. Dar so Liebold will sit for two. Danbury goes back onto the power play. They are 0 for 1 so far. McEnany for Cope. Cope top of the circle. His shot goes wide. Rebound ends up on the stick of Remsen, who gives back to McEnany, who fans on the shot. And it will be sent all the way down the ice by Jeffrey Walton. We'll see what Danbury does with the buildup here. I talked to assistant coach Brian Allen. They made a change. Turning the puck over is not what they installed. Yeah, and <laughs> normally they got to have possession of the puck first, so it'll be McEnany who starts things off from behind his own net. Gives along for Kevin Remsen. Remsen has a clear lane into the Elmira zone, and he takes it. Drops off for Donovan. Given across Cope. Cope fakes the shot, now takes it, saved by McCarthy, and he'll hold on. Yeah, he's got to shoot right at him, easy save. It was uh, Dylan Weber trying to cause some traffic in front of the net, but he was pushed out of the way. Now here is Cope, swiped off of his stick, racing up ahead and coming up with the puck is Jeffrey Walton. Walton in on a breakaway, shorthanded Walton, saved by O'Brien, and no penalty shot this time. Yeah, Lefkoff does well to come back, and it's just unable to handle the puck there is Walton. He just kind of lost it, and O'Brien stood tall. McEnany misses high and wide and clears the puck for Elmira. So now it'll be Madzi. Up ahead, Cope. Cope stops, looks for an option. Goes far side, Donovan. Donovan along the goal line. That's off the side of the net. McCarthy unable to clear. Now Cope a shot. They score! Brandon Cope. And for Brandon, it's his 20th goal of the season. That ties him with Colby Donovan for the team lead. It's Cope's 44th point of the season. That is the team's lead. And now 26 seconds remains in the second period. Danbury has their first lead so far in this game. 
And Jack, did I hear that correctly? Are they giving the goal to Colby Donovan? They are, they just made the correction there, so Donovan must have had a little touch towards the end of that play. Well, and then for Colby Donovan, it is his 21st goal of the season, his 42nd point, so one more will tie him. Two a little bit earlier by Misha Mashar, was a little bit shaken up, then he lets that little bouncing puck from the red line go in. The second goal, he makes a good effort at the save, he just couldn't get there in time but he just didn't look like, uh, he didn't look himself. He's not even on the bench, so we will not, see, I imagine we won't see him yeah. again today. And I wonder how this plays into Elmira's plans for tomorrow's game as well. So, answers to be figured out later on. We still have 19 minutes and 10 seconds of hockey left in regulation here as Lefkoff's shot is blocked down by Liam Murphy. Murphy will gain the Danbury zone as it knocked off his stick, gets it back, and plays it along for Walton. Broken up by Wojciechowski. Turner can't get it over the blue line. He'll get another opportunity. This time it's Weber. Backhanded along for Lefkoff. Back for Weber. And now Brandon Cope up ahead. Cope sees this poked away by Angle as it was too far ahead. Yeah, really nice play there for Angle because he's got not only a slow rolling puck, but a fast moving player coming at him. So it's two speeds to kind of match. He does a very good job at just staying. Cam, not happy with the call on the Danbury Colonials bench. But his team still maintains the one goal lead. Here's Dylan Weber doing battle with Liebold. Now Madsey up the boards, knocked down by Fogelgren. Cope looking to clear, he does. At the blue line to Cola. Absorbs a hit from Weber, but managed to get the puck down deep. O'Brien sends it right up the same side wall. He finds Cope. Now Weber through the neutral zone, dumping it down deep. In front, Cope managed to get a stick on it, and Angle makes the save. Yeah, good save by Angle just to stay on that post, locked in. Cope just a little flutter shot, did everything he could. Liebold up the far side wall. Scooped up by Sam Miller. Miller gives along Fogelgren. Now Miller. As the puck roll off of his stick, everybody in the orange and gray looking for an offsides call that was not coming. John Kosa, the lone goal scorer for Elmira. His shot saved by... This is again, not a ton of shots on goal. They're generating those chances. Now they're completely taken out because Danbury's power play has been strong. They've held possession. They get shots on goal. It, it just kind of eliminates the momentum that Elmira is trying to build. Lefkoff and Cope, they switch positions a couple times and then Lefkoff's shot gets blocked into the corner. Miller battling with Donovan. Donovan lifting the stick of Miller, trying to get possession of the puck. Good job by Sam Miller using his skates to maintain it. But now it pops on out to, for Cope. Cope has an option in Lefkoff. Instead sends it back down into that corner. Dylan Weber this time with the puck. And Weber with the puck on his backhand drops it off for Cope. Banning on the shot. Is Dan Barry now pass up ahead, hits Javon Fogelgren. Fogelgren in on a breakaway, he scores! Wiping out on the play was the Elmira defenseman. Mastroni with the shot, saved by Angle. It's still loose right in front of the net. Everybody poking at it. Where is it? Finally, there's the whistle. Exposed, so hopefully Nicola's okay. McNenny off the draw, rips it wide. And you know, it's that corner has got to be cursed. That's the same corner that Maverick Skeens went down in for Danbury a few weeks ago. Yeah, and Billy McCreary went down there yesterday for the Danbury Hattricks and got hurt, and he, it was a no-contact play as well. All right, note to self, avoid that far corner. Cope goes behind the net for Donovan. In that cursed corner, he gives it behind the net for Cope. Cope turning, sends for Donovan in front, and a kick save by goaltender Andrew Angle. And it's sent all the way down on goal, so no icing. Well, we've seen a couple good reactionary saves from now McCarthy and Angle just sticking out that right pad. Dylan Weber on the draw. A clean win by Kosa. Wrapped around to the near side wall, and it's Liebold simply swinging it out of the zone. Fogelgren was there, but he couldn't control the puck. Now Madsey, he gets turned around right in front of the Elmira bench, got the puck down into the zone. Darling will swing it around. Puck on edge as it rolls finally across the goal. And in between the Danbury defense, at least there's no icing on the play. Wojciechowski falls down behind the cage, but from his backside manages to direct the puck along for Lefkoff. 
Lefkoff will send it off to Glass and back into the Elmira zone. Weber chasing, sees the puck get swung over to the near side. It's Skinner Ooh. sending one off his teammate, Ethan Fuller. Glove down and touched by Weber. It's kind of been, okay, get possession of the puck when we can and then just kind of dump it on in and see what happens, get to the neutral zone. They haven't really had much time to go the other way except for that three-on-one chance that Liebold just a rarity swings and misses at. This one gets dumped in on goal, so no icing. As Franklin Berry turns it over. Ethan Fuller, top of the slot, his shot goes wide. Berry will be safer this time. He finds Remsen. Remsen gets it as far as the red line. Now sent back into the Danbury zone. Madsey will get there first. Watched closely by Walton. Madsey for Remsen, and Remsen this time will just send top the top line out there for Almira. No surprise as Fogelgren off the draw and the faceoff win by Kosa has the puck behind the net. Now Liebold tries centering it for Kosa. Instead it will be Cope who picks it up for Danbury and he finds it Remsen. Remsen sends it down deep. This one bounces out in front and Engel has to hold on to it as front of the net. They're dominating possession time in this game. They, they actually have done a pretty good job of keeping the puck in the offensive zone. It's the odd man rushes yeah. as this is whistled. A little bit too deep and just getting exposed at the blue line. Have to keep two guys back at all times now, but keep the offensive surge up. We are getting close to the final five minutes of regulation time in a tied game. This is Miller up ahead for Murphy. Now Ethan Fuller swung back towards the slot. He was looking for Walton. Puck never made its way to him. Walton, this time with the puck, tries dumping it back down deep. It goes off the skates of Cole Madsey. And Jack, to your point about having two guys back, not expecting the defenseman to really lead the four check there. Yeah. Lefkoff plays it off the boards. No icing on this play as it rolls all the way down. Andrew Engel will play in regulation. And Zach, the reason Danbury's defenders are tired is because they keep carrying the puck up and going the full length of the ice. Connor Lefkoff, the main culprit. Darling to the outside. He sent one wide. Check that Murphy with the backhander that missed to the far side. DeCola, good to see him back out on the ice. Gives along for Fuller, who sends it down deep. Franklin Berry will be the first one there with 180 seconds to go in regulation time. Cope cycles it along for Madsey. Madsey with a little open space ahead of him. Gets it over the blue line, but not much farther. Skinner was waiting for him, and Cope will send it on down. No icing on the play, so Angle will leave it for Miller. Sam Miller coming out to his backhand side. Matt, the West Con logo. In the neutral zone, he falls down, lost possession of the puck. Franklin Berry will circle back into his own end. Two and a half to play. Pass back for Berry, who's corralled by the goaltender O'Brien. Now ba Berry, his pass goes through everybody. That ends up on goal, so no icing. And I'll tell you what, Jeffrey Walton's been the best four checker for Almira tonight, all too sure-handed in this game. And that's the thing, it's it's a little hip check. What Lefkoff needs to do is he needs to take a hard C cut with that right, right skate of his and really put his body in the way. Yeah, it's either 100% on the body or, or you gotta match the speed with speed himself and he kinda picked in between and he gets burned for it. Here come the Colonials out of their zone. Cope, his pass too far for McEnany, but McEnany got a piece of it, so no icing on the play. Behind the net, Cope comes up with it. He has Weber in the slot, goes back to Barry at the point. Barry a shot, deflected by Weber wide. Now Barry again, he tried. They got their goal that they needed. Again, they played on Danbury's weakness and they tied this thing up. So three on three overtime for five minutes, but who knows how long it'll last. This is Dylan Weber coming on in, Liebold on top of him. And Weber gets knocked off the stick looking for a penalty, but there isn't one coming. Now Cole Madzi a shot into the glove of Ian Skinner will join him as the defenseman. Now Madzi a one-timer, easily handled by Angle. Jay there, but Andrew Angle is going to stop that every day. Yeah, and then, of course, it puts you to another face-off and the odds of winning two in a row, tough. Here is Weber with one knee on the ice. A shot by Kobe, scores! 